So we're um, just doing a little bit of location recce today, which is for uh, obviously the film Dead Eye. Um, there are certain scenes in the script uh, which the lead actress, um, Georgie, who's playing Jay, she'll be doing different running sequences in different areas. So the market here in Deptford is one that I thought would be really good as a background for her to be running through crowds of people, you know, with that desperation to get to the house for her son. Locations are so important. They really need to fit the story that you're telling. Um, so yeah, we're just having a little browse. So to save time on the day when we're filming all, all, the, all of these different scenes um, of her on the journey, from the beginning of the story up until the point she gets to the house, again, you can look at the market will be one sequence for her, and then literally walking down just a minute from the market, then we have a fairly typical high street here, um, which will be really good for another running sequence where we're on the opposite side of the road following her running down. So I'm just gonna go up here and take some pictures. Um, if you can, even if you're on a no budget, if, you're, if you've got actor friends that are helping you out and are going to be in your film or whatever the setup is, and you're going to shoot on a mobile phone, which is cost effective, also shoot on the location, do test shots at least a couple of days before you actually go to principal photography. Maybe spend a few hours just testing out your equipment, testing out the phone, looking at your visuals, it gives you a bit of time on location to check out the sound as well um, and then when you go back to base you can check the footage, know what's working, what isn't working and you're all worked out before you get to your main shoot otherwise you turn up stressed so it's worth doing it. I'm just taking a couple of test shots with the Filmic Pro on the iPhone 12 Pro Max which is what I'll be shooting the main film on just to see what the shadows are doing uh, in the underpass and I'm absolutely amazed uh, with the new phone, how actual, uh, how much light it's actually getting into the lens. It's just incredible. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's this big, but I'm really surprised at the amount of light that can come in here. So to, in order to get an even stronger silhouette image of her running into the underpass, I may actually, even filming in here, I may have to th think about using an ND filter uh, to drop it down a bit more. Action. Action. Yeah. So we're in Greenwich Park. Um, we're looking at the location that we intend to film on Sunday morning, which is the very first scene of the film, which is where Jay is just sort of uh, taking a moment in a park, uh, collecting her thoughts, thinking through how the day is going to progress. So it's, a, it's for me, it's a really integral scene because it really opens up. Uh, it gives us some insight into Jay's behaviour uh, and, and how she responds to things. So it's a bit of a walk actually. It's, good to, it's actually good when you're doing your location to work out all sorts of things like distance to the spot that you need, how long is it going to take the crew from parking cars to actually getting to it. So you have to add all those times into your shoot time just to make sure that you're managing and also knowing that what if it takes a good 10-15 minutes for the crew and the equipment to come over then you need to account for that before you actually shoot your scene. Ready to go. <laughs> okay so <clears throat> crazy day in pre-production got loads of meetings to get on with um, we got some permit issues to deal with, all these different things going on. It, literally in a minute, I've got a Zoom meeting uh, with Dan, who's going to be playing Damien in the film. And I've turned up and these uh, workers have turned up and they've removed uh, a huge glass pane out of my studio. I didn't even know they were going to be here. So we've got loads of noise, which isn't going to be great for all the phone calls I need to make. And it's just quite bizarre. I turn up and there's these guys at my window um, <laughs> removing these huge glass panes. So uh, we're having to 
deal with all that at the moment, but we'll see how it goes. Please keep your personal belongings with you at all times. Tom's the man behind the camera. We're um, we're just doing some <laughs> Cut you down. nice touch like that. That's cool. <laughs> That's a new camera move. <laughs> uh, so we're doing some shots up at London Bridge, and in fact, we've just been on the underground filming some shots on the uh, tube. Uh, and obviously, coming out, we got told off <laughs> by staff at the train station. So. Uh, yeah, they're not happy. It happens. But, you know, we got the shots, so that's more important. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. So uh, now we've got some really good, nice wide shots. I'm using the uh, Moondogs uh, multi-camera adapter here so I can put the ND filters on using the moment case, and that's really cool. That helps hugely on days like this where you've got extreme sun, then huge clouds coming over, and it's all changing very quick. I'm actually having to use an ND64, which is what is the only thing that's keeping that exposure down for me. So I'm going to try a, a uh, telephoto lens shot now. And of course, with the Apple's built-in telephoto lens, there are some issues around tone mapping. Uh, it does seem to show up quite a lot on the telephoto lens. So I'm going to try that anyway and see what happens. Um, you don't know until you try. If it doesn't work, then I'll use the Moments two times telephoto lens. But again, then I have to recalibrate the gimbal to take on the extra weight, which is why I want to give the actual uh, built-in telephoto lens a chance just to see what it can do. Cool. Perfect. Yeah, cool. Have you got the brace on? I found you. Right, over the weekend, guys, there's going to be some bets on as to whether she's wearing the same socks or not. <laughs> <laughs> I like So, this is your station. Imagine you've been on the trains. <laughs> same day, but now you've got to the destination. Uh, and what's in your mind is that you're going after the caseworker. Sound. Okay, mark it. Scene 17, shot 8, take 8. The problem we have at the moment is we've shot a couple of really good takes of the running sequence through the market. Um, but there's been an extreme change, so the sun's come fully out now from the cloud formations, which means if I actually shot this one, I kind of wouldn't be able to use it because it's not going to match any of the other shots if I'm going to intercut the different shots for the running. So we're just waiting for the next little bit of cloud to come across so it will help to match the previous takes that I've done. Um, maybe a minute or so, a couple of minutes, and it'll get a bit hazy, so that'd be better for us. Eight. Um, we're moving on to headshot, I think. Action! Oh, you're doing the sound on it, aren't you? <laughs> oh, that was so worth Running. the extra run. It looked good for what I could yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> Come and check it. It gets better as the run goes on. All good. Okay, 
it, Dom. You're going to have to clear now. And mark it. Scene 22, shot 10, take 2. Okay. Action! Bump coming up. Okay. 3, 2, 1, now. Slow down. Okay, cut. Well done. Are you okay? Yeah, no, it's alright. I'm just not smiling because you're closer. I'm going to go into him. Ah, brilliant. Take four. One sec. Four. Alright, we'll just go for it. Action. A bit faster, Mark. Okay, that's cool. Georgie, just not good enough. You need to go faster than that. <laughs> Where's she gone? Oh, she's collapsed. She's <laughs> 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 So classic morning, trying to concentrate on the scene that we need to get in the park. Get a phone call from my wife and uh, someone's just gone straight into the side of our car and smashed it. So uh, <laughs> having to deal with that as well as trying to concentrate on getting this done. But hey, that's filmmaking. I'm on a really important phone call right now. No, I haven't spoken to you. And if you interview me again, I will cut your tongue. No, 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 no emotion. Nothing. Nothing. Nada. I'll right. cut. I'll cut your tongue off. I'll cut your tongue off. It's like it's just it's a matter of fact. Yeah. Talk to me again. I'll cut your tongue off. Okay. Not cut Th your tongue off. Not threatening. No. Just it's just normal. Yeah. No. For her, no, for her it's no. normal. Right? <laughs> I'll just cut your tongue off. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. My child is really upset. Did you say something to him? I haven't spoken to him. And if you interrupt me again, I'll cut your tongue off. Okay, perfect. Roll sound. Speak. Sit back. And... Action. Take his birthday. Let me see my son. You have an artist and uh, they paint on their canvas. They express their creativity, their emotions, the mood, whatever it might be that they're portraying onto that canvas. And it's their work and they can just take their time and you know, go back to it and pick it up and put it together and paint and step back and take their time to look at, look at what else they want to add to it. And that, it's a, that's a really amazing thing to have, and it's very, you know, artists are very lucky that they have that. They can work on their own, and they can create the piece they want. And of course, it's just not what filmmaking's about. It takes a team of people to make it. And if that, if any element of that starts to fall apart, or certain crew members are kind of not really pushing hard enough, they're not engaged enough, it can have a huge effect on the outcome of a film and how that film is being shot and put together. Um, and that's really difficult, you know, for a director, it's very difficult. One, you're being a storyteller to make your film. Um, in another way, you've got to make sure your crew are on side and they really understand your drive and what it is that you want. And, then the, and that energy shows, you know, you don't actually see it obviously on camera but a crew's energy is so important on a shoot because it can make a huge difference to the rhythm of how you actually shoot your film. So it's like, you know, imagine going back to what I said about an artist. It's like having 15 people all painting on the same canvas and it's either succinct and together or it ends up just being a complete mess. So, it makes sense to me, it might not make sense to anyone else, but <laughs> that's how I see it. Right, go and get sandwiches. I think we're, I, I think we might be done with the exteriors, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'll probably be inside now. I don't know what to do! <laughs> it's fine! Just wanna 
be a gaffer. Shot one, take one, Sussex. And action. Yeah. Point the gun at her just so I can see what the frame is. Oh, it's incredibly unpleasant. That's great. We've been shaking with it. <laughs> it's going to be like that across the window. What I'm, what I'm wanting is the flash to go bang and hit this metal frame and here. If as I well. put the light here, then. Yeah. 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 Um, right. Okay. Um. Is any of this in shot? Because they can't see anything on the table. So one scene, yeah? So we have one scene to cover in the underpass, so we're going to have to come back and do a pickup on that. Uh, apart from that, we've managed to get everything else. Um, <laughs> all sorts of things were, were going wrong, but there was lots of positives as well. We managed to get through it and get through the scene, so we've done well. Actors have absolutely been superb on this. Um, absolutely talented, professional, quick. You know, they were on the mark every time. It was brilliant and it really helped me hugely. Um, it's always a learning curve, I think, any time. It doesn't matter how many times you've shot films. It's always a learning curve every time. You know, it's very important to really think through the process. It's very easy to just to say, hey, yeah, I can shoot it and direct it as well. Yeah, you can, but it can be really tricky and things can go wrong. And even with the experience that I've had, things can still go wrong and they do go wrong and technically I get it wrong and so you need to really be careful about that. Actors need your attention, you need to give them that direction. So sometimes if you're concentrating too much on the camera and the lighting and what's happening there, you're kind of missing those moments and, and at the end of the day, story is everything and the actors and how they deliver that is the most essential part. It's even more important than your framing. You know, there was a, there was conversation around you physically pulling her away or pushing her, and I I wasn't comfortable that your character would go to that extreme at that point, particularly as you're a very passive individual, and you're mm. also still pretty scared of Jay because mm. you just don't you know you know she's capable of some pretty mean things, mm. so you're kind of wary of okay, I'm not I am going to stand my ground, I'm not going to move, but I'm also a little bit okay, I don't know what you're going to do next, Jay, but. And that's when you have that moment where you're just staring at each other and you kind of feel, you know, what has she done? That's, what, that's the other line. So I want to throw in the line where you say, what have you done? Okay. Stand by. Roll sound. Speak. Mark it. Yeah, you can come in. Scene 11, close up one, take one, soft sticks. Settled. Action. I'm calling the case worker, but she ain't bloody answering. Well, you're standing on. Can I have you in end position? Yeah, that's great. Okay. Can you just make sure? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's you, couple of. That's fine. That's that's good. Like, uh, no, it's too much. It's too much. Too much. Yes, yeah, too much. Put the diffuser on. Can we move that light there in the corner, the soft light? Oh, I'm taking it. But now it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stand by. <laughs> okay, mark it. Scene 20. 
on, on that sequence because I what what is really important to me from you you guys is 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 the fluid motion of the firing off each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally go for it on the camera and just move with you and just see what you guys do. Yeah. So we'll, you know we can class that as a rehearsal, but there might be something in that, and it will give us a, a real feel of the space that we're working in. Action. Action. And cut. Mark it. C19, shot 1B, take 18. Action! Why are you doing this? You said that I could see Kyle. No, Jay, but I was wrong. You leave my mum alone. Just leave us alone. When does it stop, no, Jay? And when? Took my son from me. No! You did this! All of you took my son from me. No! You did this! It's taken four weeks to organise just this tiny little bit of the film, the story, to actually film, obviously, the police car sequence and George's character, Jay. Uh, so it's really exciting that we've managed to get to this point with all the paperwork and all the red tape that we've managed to get there, so it's all good. Right, so before they okay. come up. So should we stand, stand by the sign, basically? If you can, okay, yeah. So. Um, and then hopefully, if we're all on the same channel, you'll hear us talking as we're driving up as well so you'll you'll know when it's happening and not happening okay. yeah right it's the aerofall five jay phillips ace there is uh the officers get in the car and drive off uh, so they won't drive off at that point they'll drive off after that point yeah yeah so if you Sound? No rolly? Okay. Shot two, CD two, And action. Sierra 45, J. Phillips, H30, has a court injunction previous for violent assaults. Direct breach of the court injunction. Address. Sorry about this, Georgie. It's um, yeah, a bit of a struggle. Okay, stand by, everyone. Some, some rolling. And wait, wait, go. I think that's her. If it's a description. Okay, so let her run ahead a bit. Okay, cut. Okay, cut, cut! That's it there, perfect.
action. Yes. Yeah. Good. We did it. Yeah. Oh. Been amazing. Two weeks yeah. for a permit. How do you feel now? Yeah, I mean it was just stress, but now that we finally got to the day in filming, it's just been an amazing experience and working with everyone's been fantastic. Um, and been incredibly helpful, everyone's been really helpful to make sure that we get the scene that we need today, so it's really integral to the story. So, yeah, all good.